an emotional day in court for both families, even before the sentences were handed down. Judge Dale and Chetty pulled no punches when he sentenced the men. Chetty said Paniotu took no responsibility for the murder of his wife since the start of trial and his attitude did not show a lack of remorse. He told the court that the contract killing and the patience and planning that went into the murder was unbelievable. The judge said the participation of Nenembe and Sibeko in the murder was because of their love for money. Jade was blissfully unaware that the man she shared a bed with had set in motion a process which would ultimately lead to her death. When the video was played in this very courtroom and his involvement in the murder exposed, he remained nonchalant. Maybe to him it was just business, giving his acumen for it. This crime must fill all persons with abhorrence, and I feel none of the unease postulated by Marie J.A. in Malchus. For in this case, the retributive act aspect of punishment must hold sway and not be offset by maudlin sympathy for the accused. In the result, therefore, the accused are sentenced as follows. On count one, conspiracy to murder, accused number four is sentenced to 15 years imprisonment. On count two, robbery with aggravating circumstances, accused number three is sentenced to imprisonment for 15 years. On count four, the murder of Jade, accused number one and accused number three are sentenced to imprisonment for life. Paniotu showed no emotion during the judgment. The Paniotu family cried, comforting each other. The Ng's family were jubilant about the sentence, but too emotional to speak. Jay can't come back, but the justice has been done. Happy, very happy, thank you. The maximum sentences, a victory for the state. This will bring closure to the family of, of Jade and, and a lot of people who have been watching this case very closely. And we believe that our, our prosecutors and the team and the investigating team have done a lot of work. And it, it, it's, it's been a long and winding road, but we believe that at least everybody will sleep well. The Ings family receives support from all quarters. I'd just like to send my love to the Ings, uh, the, the Tony Ings and family, because they got justice. There's justice for Jade as well today. And I feel that, you know, we must send them our love and, and hope that this will help them for closure and for moving forward with their lives. This is going to be a lesson for anyone who wants to commit this type of a crime in South Africa, that it should not be. As you know that tomorrow we're launching the gender-based campaign, 16 days against gender-based violence. It's, I think it's going to be a lesson for everyone. The alleged middleman in the abduction and murder of Jade Paniotu, Lutando Sioni, will also be prosecuted. He will stand trial for murder, robbery and defeating the ends of justice. The trial has been ongoing for two and a half years. With sentencing being handed down today, it brings closure for one family, but heartbreak for another. The defense have indicated that they're going to bring an application for leave to appeal. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Court